for the pecan Thick bitch Puerto Rican Take you out to Paraguay or California for the weekend I'm with Sack and Juvie, so you gotta bring about three friends What's good YouTube, you know what I'm saying, it's your boy Bang Out Tay back at the game with another video And today, I'm gonna be giving y'all some advice for your junior year Since I just got out of my junior year, I'm finna be a senior and shit like that So look, being a junior bro, to me, my junior year was like my hardest year to be honest Like, my grades was going up and down, up and down And it was just hard, even though I finished with like a good old 3 point I forgot, I had like a 3 point something, I forgot but, hey, junior year, you got to make sure you get good with your teachers. That's the first thing right there. Make sure you get good with your teachers because you might end up wanting to need that teacher help. You're going to need that teacher help. I promise y'all, boy. You're going to need that teacher help at one point. And if you always acting a fool in class or whatever like that, acting a fool, not doing your work and stuff like that, they ain't going to mess with you. Because when it comes to the end of the year and your grades down, they is not going to help you, I promise you. And I learned that because I'm a goofball and I like to play around in class all the time. That is not what it is. Because when it came to the end of the year, they barely wanted to help me. I literally had to go to my guidance counselor and everything. Like, literally. And what I, one thing, wait, another thing that I learned from my junior year is that don't trust these niggas, bruh. Or these hoes, bruh. Don't trust nobody, bruh. Keep your circle real small. Like, real small. Because if you just keep letting so many people in your circle, bro, you just going to find out how bad it is. Like, dude, these niggas are really fake. These friends that you have now will not be your friend, dude. Like, like when it comes to, like, senior year, when you're done, bro, they not going to be your friend. And they probably talking behind your back right now while you're looking at this video. They probably sitting there talking behind your back. I'm trying to tell you. Man, forget junior, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior year. Like, you always got to keep your circle real small, dude. Like, real small because I promise you, half of the people you messing with, half of the people you fucking with ain't really fucking with you. They not fucking with you. I promise you. So, look, y'all just got to, you know what I'm saying, keep your head up for the most part. You just got to push through everything and make sure nothing block your way from where you want to get. But, hey, I'm trying to tell y'all, but like I was saying before, you got to make sure you get your grades on point, though, because you finna be a senior. You, like, you want to have your grades up, especially if you was messing up your freshman and sophomore year. You're going to have to want to, you know what I'm saying, put a pep in your step your junior year so you can kind of average it out and make sure you're studying. And me, me personally, I don't really study. I do all my homework in class. I probably cheat on the test. But I'm saying for y'all boys, y'all might want to study because cheating don't work for everybody. For me, that's that's not. That's not but for real, y'all gonna want to study as like hard as y'all can, to be honest. Because if you don't study, dude, I promise you, you're not gonna go nowhere. You're not gonna pass no test. Especially the test when you can't cheat and you sitting there by yourself in the corner like, bro, what the fuck? Like, I promise you don't want to study. And always pay attention in class. If you don't pay attention, you're not gonna, you're gonna be lost, bro. You're gonna be sitting looking like a duck, like... You're going to be sitting there looking stupid. I promise you, you're going to look stupid as hell. Look, one more important thing that you want to do as a junior, you want to make sure you talk to your goddess counselor a lot. You gonna make you got to make sure that you're on track for your senior year. Because, you know, your senior year, after senior year, it's over. It ain't no more high school. It's either you finna go to college, you finna go work at McDonald's somewhere, or do it you doing probably YouTube or some shit but if you really want to go to college you might want to talk to your guidance counselor and make sure that you on track to going to the next level for real cuz if you don't do that and you just ba 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 just saying fuck it or whatever you don't care you're gonna be shoot there's no way you're gonna make it through anywhere like it, you're not gonna make it if you're not on the right track dude Especially your test scores. If you want to go to college, you got to have good test scores like SAT, ACT, all that stupid stuff. They don't matter, dude. You're going to really need them test scores. If you don't have them test scores, I promise you, you're not going nowhere. And if you're an athlete, even if you're an athlete, if you're playing football, basketball, or any sport, 
you got to have a good SAT score for uh, colleagues to be like, oh, yeah, bring them in. Like, you just can't be a complete dummy. You got to at least have a good test score to get into college. If, excuse me. But if you don't have a good test score, I promise you, you're going to be out of luck, to be honest. Right? Real shit, you're going to be out of luck. And you're going to be sitting there crying, like, real shit. But, like, honestly, for me, I kind of... I struggled, but I, I was like, I always bounce back. Like when it comes to the end of the quarter, I'd be like, mm -mm. I'll start doing all my mix of work, doing everything. But that's what you don't want to do. You want to do all your work in like the present. So you don't have to worry about that when you it's the end of the quarter and you just rushing, trying to get everything done, trying to turn everything in, trying to get help from your teacher. And that's why I was saying you want to want to, you know what I'm saying, get cool with your teachers because you don't get cool with them. I mean, they, why would they help you? If you're not showing them respect or nothing like that, even if they being mean to you all the time, you just sit there like not saying that you just chilling, you doing your work and stuff, they're going to respect that and they obviously going to want to help you. Because if you sitting in class, you acting a fool or you're not doing your work, you always skipping the class and stuff like that, you're going to be shooed. Like really, you really are. They gonna look at you like, why should I help you if you not even come to my class or you disrespecting me every day, playing around in my class, distracting my class? And I learned that, cause me, I used to skip a lot. I really didn't care. I was being a fool. I didn't know any better until I, I started to recognize that that shit is stupid and it's played. By the end of the year, I realized that it's not really worth it. It's not worth it to. You know what I'm saying? Be acting a fool in class. It's like you're not even proving a the point there. So it's like, really, why would why would you act a fool in class if really you're not gonna go nowhere with it? Honestly, if you're not gonna go nowhere with that, it's no point for you to be in class playing around all the time, not doing your work, head down, listening to music, when, and you're not supposed to have your phone in class. Don't be on your phone all the time in class and shit like that. Cause as a junior, you really like it's really. Like, after that junior year, you you a senior now. Like, me, I'm finna be a senior. Like, come on now. If you going into senior year with all these spelling grades, you gonna have to, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, really, I could be going into my senior year just only having, like, three classes, but I'm not because I want to be stupid and I want to play around and not really take school serious. And honestly, with that being said, like, I really just recognize that I really came up because, like, really, I start off the school year with, like, a, ho a whole lot of C's and, like, a 2.2. .2, and I by the end of the year, I was at 3.0 and above. Just from paying attention in class and studying a little bit, doing my homework and stuff like that. Just by doing that, I recognize that it helped me a lot. And it's going to actually get me somewhere because I want to go to college. I want to go play football. I want to go actually play football for a college, so I'm going to actually try. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't live this fucked up life probably somewhere on the street or on the block somewhere. Like, I don't want to live that life. I want to live a different life. I don't want to be like everyone else. I want to actually make it somewhere. I don't want to sit at home all day not doing nothing. I want to be out there living my best life. I want, I want to reach my goal. I want to go to the NFL one day. And if I don't go to the NFL one day... I want to be something that people, like, be something at least. Be something that's, I want to have a good job. I don't want to, I don't want my kids to go through what I went through. I don't want my kids to go through that. I don't want my kids to be raising up around this horrible environment. I want to get out of the hood. I don't want to be in the hood anymore. So that's why as you stepping up to a junior, you want to make sure that, you on point that you gonna go to college that you finna graduate like you gotta make sure because you don't make sure you're gonna be out of luck to be honest with you and that and with that being said though make sure you talk to your parents like your parents gonna know more than you so you make sure make sure you always talking to your parents just to like a but me i only talk to my mom because that's the only person i i feel comfortable talking around i don't really talk to my dad like that but i feel real comfortable talking to my mom about things because my mom was graduated college and stuff like that well she just not graduating she's like 30 something she just not graduating college and actually made it somewhere so yeah that's all i got for y'all though
And with that being said, I'm going to end the video right here. And I just want y'all to really pay attention to what I was saying. And it'll help y'all a lot, I swear. So, hey, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn my post notifications. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.